for many hundreds of years, the Korean people and the Chinese people have lived as brothers. Brothers who sometimes quarreled, but brothers bound by shared tradition. Brothers who, on both sides of the Yellow Sea, embraced the tradition of civilization and proper order codified by Confucius. Brothers who toiled and bled together under the yoke of the Mongol barbarians and their self-styled Yuan dynasty. All waves eventually recede back to the dark seas whence they came, and so it was with the Mongols, who slithered back to their steppe homelands. Once the light of civilization again shone upon the east, as the border between China and Korea was being determined, there were those among the Koreans in the kingdom of Korea who wished to attack the young Ming dynasty and retake the ancestral land on the Liaotong Peninsula, which our Chinese brothers had taken possession of. Our weak and pathetic King Wu of the Wang dynasty sanctioned this unnatural and despicable expedition, and it was the heroic general Yi Songye who listened to his conscience, turned his armies back at the border on the Yalu River, and ultimately toppled the rotten kingdom of Korea. In its place he built the kingdom of Great Chosan, which has flourished under the Yi and Ju dynasties, bringing order to the unruly tribes of Manchuria, and even stretching into the uncharted reaches of the eastern continent from which the sun rises. In its ascendancy, Chosan demonstrated its fidelity and its fealty to the Ming for more than 150 years. But the Ming, blind to history, chose to favor the Oirat barbarians, the sons and daughters of the Mongols who once enslaved us. When our kingdom of Great Chosan chose to put the steppe barbarians in their place, the emperor of the Ming interceded and defended them in violation of the world's natural order. The Korean people and the Chinese people are still as brothers, but the empire of Great Ming has proven itself to be a false state, holding our Chinese brothers in thrall. Its throne sits empty, while a corrupt cadre of bureaucrats plunder the treasury. From this day forth, let it be known that the true empire of Great Ming has passed from the earth and so has the kingdom of Great Chosun. In its place, the empire of Great Chosun will shoulder the mantle of civilization. The Ming pretenders will not go quietly, but we will no longer tolerate their malign, unnatural rule over the cradle of civilization. It may take generations, but let our Korean and Chinese great-grandchildren all live under the enlightened rule of the empire of Great Chosun.